This video shows the results of, a, of an experiment which shows that uh, light dimming is possible with pulse width modulation even on alternating current. Traditionally the light dimming is done with triac but as it is a bit complicated to control it from an external device like Arduino many of forums are discussing the usage of pulse width modulation with dimmer instead of finding a clear answer I was put in more doubt so I decided to try myself well the dimmer works, works well so let's have a look what's behind the core of it is a special transistor called insulated gate bipolar transistor a relatively new thing which uh, for ages we could only dream of now came true and it is capable of um, handling the high power uh, high current opening and closing in flick of eye the concept is relatively easy we plug in the mains we power the bulb and the transistor is either open or closed and depending on this the light is on or off if we turn it on and off quick enough we chop the sine wave in the form of like is shown here and we get it pulse width modulated therefore the effective uh, power on the output is also regulated as the transistor cannot handle the negative voltage we had to add a diode to uh, protect it and to perform the simplest test on it the wiring should look like this then we have the half of the sine wave regulated that is of course a very basic functional test if we want to use both halves of the sine wave we have to replace the diode by the diode bridge the diode bridge ensures that both halves of the sine wave flow through the bulb in the same direction and then we get this regarding the pulses here they are shown as a symbols meaning that if we connect the Arduino directly to the transistor it would not open we may see that from the characteristics the characteristics show that 5 volts driven to the gate is merely opening the transistor and that's only with a certain temperature at lower temperatures it doesn't open at all at 5 volts meaning that we need to connect higher voltage on the gate around 10 volts even 15 so we need to generate these 15 volts that's done easily adding one more diode and a capacitor which is constantly charged to 310 volts a resistor divider properly designed generates the mentioned 15 volts on the lower resistor adding a simple transistor connected to Arduino which shortcuts the lower resistor generates pulses of 15 volts or zero depending whether the transistor is open or closed or even better the transistor may be replaced by the optocoupler which separates the unit from the Arduino if something goes faulty so that the Arduino doesn't suffer even the simplest optocoupler will do so to sum it up we have the rectified current flowing through the bulb if the transistor is open and that is open if the 15 volts is driven to the gate of it the physical design itself is not my pride but as the device is constructed for the test purposes it's okay for the moment the wiring has certain drawbacks as it is potentially unsafe shown in red is a line through which the electricity is still present on the bulb even if it is apparently turned off when the transistor disconnects it from the current so if you are unlucky and touch the lamp on the wrong place you may get electrified but it also have advantages if we compare this concept with a traditional tyristor controller we know that tyristor dimmer generates a humming noise that's because tyristor cuts off certain parts of the sine wave and creates a high peaks in a current which generate the humming noise in the concept of pulse width modulation this is not present or at least not present in the frequencies that human ear can hear 
Consequently, also the spurious frequencies are more easily filtered out as they appear on the higher frequencies. And what's even nicer is the simplicity of the code in Arduino. You may see that the code is fairly simple, just analog writing to the pin number 11 which I chose for driving the dimmer. And you don't have to bother with zero crossings, it's processing, interruptions, etc. You may dedicate your code to something really useful. As far as dimming is concerned, you just send one command, that's all.